Hi, my name is Jacob Bukowski and I'm an Applications Engineer here at GoEngineer. Today I'm going to be showing this nifty little gold nugget feature SOLIDWORKS placed in the 2019 to better assist with sheet metal design. There is a new tab in 2019 for custom sheet metal materials. It's located over here. Uh, to link properties directly to materials. So we're going to directly link sheet metal properties to materials. Uh, this will be a game changer for anyone doing sheet metal design or manufacturing. In this example, I'm going to navigate to the aluminum alloys, the 1060 aluminum alloy, and I'm going to copy this alloy here. We're going to go to custom materials, and I'm going to create a new custom category. This category is going to be custom aluminum. This feature only works with custom materials, so that's why I'm copying materials in here. I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to, or I'm going to paste the new material in. And I'm going to rename this uh, here Custom 1060 Alloy. Then I'm going to navigate over to the new Sheet Metal tab, and here we have three options. I can link the sheet metal properties to this material via the gauge table, a bend table, or any number of tables that I might have already set up or Excel tables already set up that map to my uh, air brake machine. Right? The option I'm going to talk about today is to account for various K factors based on thickness range. Of course, for this example, I'm going to be using similar K factor values for aluminum, but you should be doing tests with your air rate materials thicknesses to determine the proper K factor for your environment. Not all of them are the same. Uh, however, most aluminums have a range from about 0.375 to 0.450 K factor. Here's how we're going to use this new command in SOLIDWORKS 2019. Uh, I'm going to select the thickness range icon here and select add. In the from column, 0 less than the thickness less than or equal to 3 and in the units here choose millimeters and we're going to vary not the bend allowance or deduction but the K factor. So I'm going to say from 0 to a thickness equal to 3 millimeters have a value of 0 0.375 then I'm going to add another row from 3 to 6 millimeters I like the K factor to be 0 0.415 and I'm going to hit apply and close now I will convert this box into a bin for my tools with the convert to sheet metal command. New in 2019 is this new use material sheet metal parameters. This is the parameters we just set up in the last step. I'm going to select this button, then I'm going to select my bottom base here, convert my edges, and You'll notice that right now I have a thick, I'll put a thickness here of 2.5 that fits within my range of 0 to 3. And if we scroll down, the custom bend allowance here should update the K factor to my 0.375. Now, if I change the thickness here to 4 millimeters and scroll down, the K custom K factor now updates to 0.41 as intended since it falls between 3 millimeters and 6 millimeters. I'll go ahead and hit the green check. And we can see in the sheet metal parameters here that our custom K factor shows up because it had varied with the material sheet metal parameters. My name is Jacob Baikowski, and this has been a SOLIDWORKS 2019 quick tip for sheet metal, linking sheet metal parameters to the material itself. Thanks, and have a wonderful day.